He scored a, f a few goals in your time there. A few interesting ones, of course, like the one in 1987 against Barcelona. It was often said, did he mean it? Well, did you mean it? It's just, it's a, it, that was actually a training ground thing. But uh, Paul Sturrock's touch let us all down in it. And uh, I've just put my head up. I've looked at the time and <laughs> it's flew in the back of the net. I've claimed a goal. It and doesn't matter, really. There's a sweet one against Celtic in the 88 Cup final. Yeah, well, I mean, it's a race between Roy and myself and... The big man just done me for the free kick before and uh, I just outpaced him and I mean I just hit it and it hit the back of the net which is great feeling. But of course I mean in, in some ways your time at United was indeed the making of you because you really came of age there didn't you? I did, no I mean it was great, no, I, mean, I, no, I mean it was great coaching under Jim McLean, Walter Smith even, no, I mean they were fantastic in breeding the young players and I was very fortunate I was one of the young players that could continue it. And changing days there of course it's now like the players like Olofsson doing well there, Zetterlund, they've, got, they've brought in their foreigners and again they've done well in that market. They have, no I mean United have always been renowned for either bringing youngsters through or going into the market for cheap players and then selling them on for a, a better uh, price so I mean they still seem to be doing that. But no doubt you'd agree you were one of United's all-time great players Kevin. <laughs> well it's, it's not for me <laughs> saying it, I mean, it's, that's just for the, the, the general paying public to, to say things like that. Yeah you've just been bashful okay 